Alright, what's going on guys? Wally back with another video and I want to give you guys something cool here So I did cave and I may have bought into microtransactions. And I'm gonna show you right now Sort of what's going on. So I'm gonna open one of these up and show you what I got now I didn't show it in the video, but I definitely bought about like five or six more of these things and uh yeah yeah so i'm gonna recommend that if you're trying to collect all the pokemon that you be careful because this will just suck you in so the record book and stuff like that now i'm gonna be honest i don't agree that this thing is as expensive as it should be i think this is something that should be provided i get the fact that they want to obviously see their roi in terms of doing events like this and they want to make sure that people have the ability i guess in some way to be able to track their stuff i don't see why they can't just track it for us in game uh but fine whatever so the first one i get right there i get an ev88 pretty cool and i end up running a race here the first race i do i end up winning i got pretty lucky i feel like all the years of just mario kart just coming back to me a little bit of star wars pod racing just coming back and i'm not gonna lie i think that the sparrow racing league is definitely fun definitely enjoyable but i'm gonna hop in, in footage here and, and kind of give you a better idea of what it looks like if you haven't played it yet if you want to come back and check it out but I am going to ask in this video, how do you guys feel about the microtransactions and how do you feel about Sparrow Racing League? So as we get into Sparrow Racing League, you get that iconic opening, right? And I think this is the Mars map. And the map is pretty cool. There's obviously like littered with like Vex enemies and so on and so forth. And it's definitely a nice addition. There's a little race thing on the right that kind of tells you what's going on. Your mini map shows everybody red. It's definitely cool. I, I will say that it is an enjoyable experience. It's fun, the little gateway boost, the fact that you can like do tricks. And I didn't like figure out how to do tricks until the end of my last uh, lap, basically. But it is enjoyable, I will say that. But here is where I'm not convinced. I don't feel like this is going to last. I feel like this is fun for a couple days and then it's going to get really dull. I feel like two maps is the biggest problem. If there were more maps, if there were like six maps, or something like that. There's not really like an arbitrary number, I think, to make it good. It has to be intrinsically good before you can say that maps will make it better. I think it is good off of its base platform, off of what is presented here, off of doing literally one race. I've only done one race, so I'm not like a weathered, experienced pod racer or anything like that. But I will say that it is fun. It's littered with traps. There's enemies. You have your uh, other dudes you got to go against. You can like honk your horn and taunt them and pull pro moves like me crashing right there, so on and so forth. But it's fun. But again, go back to that point, I, I reiterate, is it going to last? Is it enough? And I think this is sort of a good segue point to talk about, are live events something that you want? Is it is this something that you feel supplements your Destiny experience or makes your Destiny experience worthwhile to you so that you will keep coming back? Is this better than DLC? Is small content drops, events like this that apparently they've been working on since Alpha and I don't necessarily know if I agree with that one but is this something that is going to be enough to suffice until the next big content drop eh, maybe i don't know that's your opinion and i think i'm curious to know what you guys think for me personally i think that this is going to solve exactly what purpose it was going out to do it's designed to bring back players occasionally to participate in these events my only problem again is that when they do these things they do them so well like this like sparrow racing but they don't give it enough. There's not enough meat on that bone to be like, yes, this is a great experience, but it's not enough for me to be like, this is something I want to do. Like Trials, is, I think, is a pretty good example of this. So Trials in its initial upbringing was awesome. It was so cool because you had the ability to just go in there and get gear, get weapons, have a good time, play against some pretty good players in some pretty good competitive setting with little lag, if there is lag, so on and so forth, right? But now that Trials has been out forever, it's kind of like, oh, I don't, why do I play it? For me, at least. I know a lot of people are very, will swear by Trials and play it all the time. It's like Iron Banner 2. You go in for the gear, you're trying to fill out a set, trying to edge out maybe more marks or so on and so forth, a better weapon, whatever. And I get a lot of that. But for me, for personally for this, it's something like I want there to be things like this, but I want it to be more fleshed out. I want it to be in-game events that stay not necessarily forever but do come back on a regular basis but have the ability to really be like damn this is like fun this is not just don't play destiny just to shoot aliens and get gear i play to like race sparrows or potentially like do some other event maybe it's you know like the festival of delight or festival of the lost type of event where you just have a good time with your friends you experience the social environment a little bit more or it's just something random like racing 
but uh, I don't know. Uh, this thing is, is kind of, it's fun, definitely. I think I've said that like 10 million times already, but I'm more curious to know what you guys think. Is this something that you're going to come back to Destiny for? And if you've come back to play and have played it, is this something that you're going to swear by and say it's an enjoyable experience? Or is it a little bit too light? Is it like fun in the sense that you definitely are enjoying it, but you wish there was more to it kind of thing? Or is it just nothing that interests you? What is it? And then the follow-up question to that would be, are you guys okay with live events taking the place of DLC? And it's not necessarily sure to say that this is going to be the case for all of Destiny Year 2. They could totally have some kind of DLC placed or maybe a raid coming up or something like that. We don't know. But some articles, specifically Eurogamer and a Kusaku article confirmed from Derek Carroll that these live events will be sort of taking the main stage for Destiny Year 2, which just started, by the way. Destiny Year 2 just started with Take It King. So unless they're saying that year two, meaning 2015 and moving into 2016, we don't have to worry about it. I have a feeling they mean literally all of 2016. So I get a little choked up. Sorry. I'm curious. What do you guys think? Is this going to be fun for you guys to play? Are you going to play it all the time? Are you going to try it out all through December? Or do you think it's going to get stale? You're not going to try it at all. What is it? Let me know what you guys think. As always, though, I'm going to be on this side. I think that some content is better than no content. But if I had to personally pick... I would take always big content drops over events like this, regardless of how well events like this are done. This is a good example of a good event, but I would take an expansion pack. What do you guys think? Let me know. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.